Hey guys, ETN and here from Sunbros, and today I'm really excited to be bringing you guys another Hero Quick Look video, and we're going to be covering the brand new Warrior Assassin, Ryoma. And as always guys, if you guys enjoy the content, please make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, check out our other video series like our Top 5s, our How to Play Arena Valor series, as well as our Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night live streams. Alright guys, and of course, we're talking about the brand new Warrior, Ryoma the Ronin. Ryoma is a class Warrior Assassin. His role is Harass Finisher. As you guys can see in the bottom left, he is pretty much even keel across the board with below average difficulty. Ryoma's passive is called Najina Tajutsu. And yes, I did have to practice that a few times. And after a quick Google search, I can confirm that the correct pronunciation is in fact Naginata Jutsu. Now that we've cleared that up, every 5 seconds Ryoma's next normal attack unleashes a Shadow Blade that has longer range and extra damage as well as slowing enemies. Enemies hit at the max range of Shadow Blade suffer additional physical damage. Ryoma's first ability is Pinwheel. Ryoma leaps backwards while extending his Naginata, dealing physical damage to surrounding enemies. If Ryoma damages an enemy hero, then Pinwheel's cooldown is reduced. Ryoma's Second ability is Wailing Blade. Ryoma unleashes a Phantom Blade that deals a bunch of physical damage to the first enemy and half the damage to subsequent enemies on the path. Enemies at the end of the path will be stunned. Ryoma's ultimate and third ability is Spectral Ire. Ryoma furiously stabs with his Naginata, inflicting up to four instances of damage on enemies. Every hit deals damage, and for each stab that deals damage to an enemy hero, Ryoma gains HP. Additional HP is not gained for hitting more than one hero with each stab. Alright guys, next we're going to be moving on to Ryoma's pros and cons. And of course, we're going to be starting with his pros, which are his strengths and things you're going to focus on if you're playing as him, and things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing against him. Ryoma's first pro is his great range. Between his passive Naginata Jitsu and the extended range that it gives an attack every 5 seconds, and the poke from his second ability Wailing Blade, and of course the long distance of his ultimate Spectral Ire, all these things have a pretty good distance, and of course his dash, Pinwheel, which causes him to jump a pretty large distance, everything that Ryoma does, does indeed have a pretty good range, especially for a warrior assassin. This gives him a pretty substantial edge when it comes to fighting marksmen and things of that nature. He's much, because not only does he have the great range with his abilities, he has a pretty good gap closer with his first ability also. Ryoma's second pro is that he has a really solid healing ultimate. The heal you get from his ultimate isn't going to change your life, but I find it surprisingly effective, especially in a close 1v1 or team fight. The ability for Ryoma to stun somebody with Wailing Blade, heal up with Spectral Ire, and jump away from them with Pinwheel to get to safety is actually a very underrated part of his kit. Ryoma's third and final pro is the depth and fluidity of his toolkit. One of my favorite things about Ryoma is the way that all his abilities work together, and he seems to have a really seamless and easy transition between abilities and auto attacks attacks, especially when you take into account his passive, Najinata Jutsu. A lot of times there can be some clunkiness or some sort of delay or issue with graphically with people going from abilities to auto attacks and vice versa, but Ryoma really does it pretty seamlessly. And the other thing that I love about his kit is that all his abilities work in conjunction to one another. They have great synergy. They actually help each other. One ability helps set up the other ability and they can be used in a myriad of different ways. Each ability isn't only able to be used in way A, B, or C, you can kind of think of different ways to use it, which makes him a pretty deep hero, and I actually like that a lot. Now we're moving on to Ryoma's cons, and these are things that are his weaknesses, things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing as him, and things you're going to want to exploit or take advantage of if you're playing against him. Ryoma's first con, of course, is that as a warrior without any ability to break any sort of crowd control, he is susceptible to crowd control. Even though he has some really nice abilities, he can gap close and all that stuff, if he does get stun locked, he will die. There's no question about that. That is a very common con, but it is also an issue that a lot of hero's face. Getting caught by crowd control and getting stun locked is a good way to die. His second con is that all his abilities are skill shots. His ultimate, his first and second ability all have to be aimed and have to be hit correctly. Now they are generally speaking I think really fast at the moment that you hit the button or, or let it go and the moment they activate some abilities take time, some abilities are delayed and all that kind of stuff. Ryoma's abilities are all very smooth and fast but they are all skill shots and so it will definitely take you getting used to those to get proficient at them. And Ryoma's third and final con is the need for him to have good cooldown management. If you want to get good at Ryoma, you're going to have to learn how to manage the cooldowns on his abilities effectively in, in order to best kind of maximize that wonderful balance and rhythm between attacking with abilities and attacking with normal attacks. Now, while I wouldn't say that the cooldowns are especially long, the ultimate starts at 12, bottoms out at 10. The second ability starts off at 10, bottoms out at 7.5. And, and the first ability, Pinwheel, starts off at 8 and doesn't go down but can be reduced by 3 
three seconds by hitting an enemy hero with it. So if you wanna become a Ryoma main, that is one thing I would definitely focus on is learning and understanding good cooldown management with him and his abilities. All right, guys, that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Remember to check out our Hero Quick Look video on the other brand new Hero Omen. And of course, we have a Hero Quick Look video on every hero that's been released in North America and South America. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.